In this video, we're going to be looking at the average value of a sine wave. So it's very important that we understand what we mean by average. And so what we're going to be doing is taking basically the average of this whole sine wave and calculating out what that will work out to be. Now, it's if we take a look at this, we see that we have a positive alternation, which would be going from 0 to 180 degrees, and a negative alternation going from 180 to 360 degrees. We talked about peak values. Well, the peak value on the positive is equal to the peak value in the negative, but there would be a negative function to that. So the average, this positive side, would actually cancel out the negative side, and the average for one complete sine wave will always be zero. So watch for that. If you were ever asked for the average of one complete sine wave, it calculates out to be zero. Now, when we're talking about the average value for one alternation, that's different because we have either a full-on positive value or a full-on negative value because we're only talking from 0 to 180 or from 180 to 360. And in that case, we can use the formula 0.637 times peak equals the average for one alternation. So as an example here, let's say I have a 300 volt peak for this sine wave here, which would mean I'd have a 300 volt peak on the negative as well. So it's the same idea, it would just be negative 300 volt peak. If I wanted to work out what the average value was for one alternation, I would take 300 volts and times that by 0.637. 300 times 0.637 is equal to 191.1 volts. And that's how you calculate out the average value for one alternation. Now, when we're talking about average value, why that's important to us is when we get to electronics and we're talking about rectification, it's important that we understand where that 0.637 comes from, and that will be in a later video at a later date. But also, DC meters read average. So if you hook up an AC sine wave to a DC meter and put it into volts, it's going to read zero. So that's important for us to know as well.